the Media Mark Weather Show. Let's get into some viewer sent in photos here. Mark Oleg from the Blue Ridge Parkway area of North Carolina, Sam Knob, and take a look at some of these wilderness photos. Very pristine wilderness. Spring is in full bloom. You can see some of the bloomage here on the trees. Uh, of course, lots of leaves. And as you can see, some very, very nice skies to go along with this. So very nice picturesque skies. Interesting cloud patterns as well. A lot of higher cirrus clouds to be had across the area. So very nice here. Mark Oleg capturing the essence of the Blue Ridge Parkway, Sam Knob, in western portion of North Carolina in the Appalachians. And uh, very nice photos to say the least. So get out there and enjoy those hiking trails in the Appalachian Mountains. So let's take a look at this last photo he has. This is the pink shell azalea. It's only found in the highest elevations of the Blue Ridge Parkway Mountains, those uh, highest levels, those highest peaks. So very nice capture, a nice rare flower capture here by Mark Oleg. Thank you for sending these in. We head on to uh, Joe Drehos. I could not get your video off of Facebook. Unfortunately, Facebook has been very tough to get videos off of lately. I'm not sure why, but I was able to take one of the uh, photos from uh, your main Facebook page. So very nice lightning capture, May 14th, 2014, or in the early morning hours, just before the sun rose. Some thunderstorms really blossomed across the upstate New York area, Susquehanna region, and Joe Drehos captured this nice lightning shot. So thank you, Joe, for sending this in. And we move on to Lucas D from Linden, Texas. He's got some very nice photos here from the Linden Wilderness area. He's showing us what you will find in the wilderness of Linden, Texas. And you see some of these photos look very wild. A lot of wild flowers, a lot of wild trees, and a very interesting snake here to say the least. So nice capture there, Lucas, for that snake. Very nice snake capture. And as you can see, spring is in full bloom and we're going into summer very quickly here in Linden. Storm photos here across Linden, Texas. He had some interesting sky captures across the Linden area. So very nice sky captures here, Lucas. And uh, of course, he saves the best for last here. It's a nice red and orangish sunset here. So nice sunset here from the Linden, Texas area. Let's get into those precipitation amounts across the country. We will have a few systems, minor systems in the Pacific Northwest that will create some problems on the quarter to half an inch of rain. But we're basically dealing with rain across all of the lower 48 in Southern Canada. Heaviest rain, take a look here in the mid-Atlantic. Let's zoom in on that. We're gonna be looking at those three to five inch amounts up the Appalachians here for Thursday night and Friday. And basically, we're looking at some isolated areas up to six to eight, especially in the central Appalachians here. But then we're looking up the Appalachians and basically two to four inches in the Susquehanna River Valley of Pennsylvania into upstate New York and uh, western New England. So let's take a look at those surface maps. Friday, the system really starting to push towards the east coast. However, it is slowing down slightly. It's got that Atlantic moisture in that tropical wave that I, we, we've been talking about in training into this system as it tries to move to the east. So a very heavy rain, an all-day soaking event across portions of the mid-Atlantic, northeast, and portions of the Appalachians. Heading on into your weekend, the system slowly pushes into eastern New England, so we will be getting some rain, unfortunately, for your weekend plans here in New England. But then we start to clear things out a little bit behind it, but then we get this next system in the plains, starting in the southern plains a return flow of moisture and we start to get some thunderstorms that's going to set us up for a severe weather outbreak possibly into monday and tuesday here in the intermountain west in the pacific northwest we're going to be dealing with these few systems riding along the higher elevations but not too much to speak of and then of course monday i talk about that return flow we got high pressure here in the east so very nice monday but look at this, severe thunderstorms along uh, approaching dry line off the Mexican plateau here. We could be looking at hail, high winds, and possible tornadoes here in Texas, portions of western Oklahoma, and up towards western Kansas, and maybe far, as far north as eastern Colorado, western Nebraska. So that's going to pretty much do it here at Medio Mark. I'm going to have a five-day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton. But don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark.com. Here is that five-day outlook for my Sus Susquehanna 
region of New York and Northeast Pennsylvania viewers. Look at this Friday all day soaking event. We're looking at two, three, maybe four inches of rain in the Binghamton to Scranton areas. Highest elevation seeing the most highest totals from the lift. But then we get into the weekend. Look at this fresh air weekend here. Lots of nice it will be a little bit on the cool side compared to what you've been used to, but we're looking really nice. Low to mid 60s with upper mid to upper 40s for lows. So low 60s for highs pretty much through the period here. Mid 60s towards Monday and Tuesday, but then we're looking at those lows. Good for sleeping in the mid to upper 40s. Then we start to get into some showery conditions possibly in a Monday night into Tuesday. So we're going to look for that next small system to move through the area. That's going to do it at Meteo Mark.